Oh, hey, Jan. I haven't seen you in forever. What have you been up to? Hi, Jim. I've been very busy lately with my new marketing position at the new firm in Vancouver. Oh, you have a new position. What do you do? Well, I help implement brand position strategies as well as the overall brand position. Do you know about any of that? I think I know a little bit, but could you explain it to me a little more? Sure. I'll give you the basics as it's a very complex process and I don't want to bore you. Don't worry. You wouldn't bore me. All right, then. Basically, a brand positioning strategy relates to the intended image of the product or brand relative to a competing brand for a given competitive space as defined by certain products, market, or category characteristics. Sorry, you lost me on the boring textbook style definition. Brand positioning strategy is about finding a right place for a brand in the marketplace as well as in the consumer's mind. Oh, so you like competitor-based positioning by showing the superiority of your brand over the competitors. For example, the paper towel commercials regarding how many sheets is needed compared to the next leading competitor. You got it. Another big aspect of my job is regarding brand position. Brand positioning refers to target customers' reasons to buy your brand in preference to an others. It ensures that all brand activity has a common aim, is guided or directed and delivered by the brand's benefits slash reasons to buy, and it focuses at all points of contact with the consumer. So you mean like the type of reactions I have to the brand after viewing commercials on TV are part of brand positioning? Yes, an example could be something like the new Moxie commercials on TV. After viewing those ads, one could feel like eating at Moxie's could give them the social life they want, while others may feel the ad portrayed the restaurants more as a club scene rather than a nice place to eat. These are all feelings you would now have of the brand after watching the ad, whether they be positive or negative. Oh, that is much clearer. But it may be a little clearer if you took me to Moxie's one night so I could gauge my own feelings. Oh, um, maybe, but I might have to walk my cat or something that night.